Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown and a warm welcome to the How to Cameron channel and welcome to a new series. This is going to be a series where I, a chemistry degree student, is going to take low level, not low level, but quizzes that are made for younger students. I want to see uh, if I'm actually like... <laughs> Like intrinsically smart. Okay, now I don't know why that makes any sense. What I mean by intrinsic, I, I don't even know what intrinsic means. But why I assume intrinsic means is like, am I smart when it comes to stuff that I've not like learned about? Uh, let's start off with uh, doing a quiz on the types of reactions. I'm using a new microphone as well. I'm recording in a different way. So if this video turns out worse than normal, even though my video is normally crap anyway. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying something new. Guys, leave me alone. I've also been doing TikTok recently. I don't know why. I've made, like, four TikToks. They've all done relatively well. Saying I've never actually, like, advertised my TikTok account on YouTube or anything. So the first question is, when methane burns in oxygen, carbon dioxide and water are made, which is a reactant. So this is actually a revision for you guys as well. If you're someone who is doing foundation, GCSE, chemistry, or whatever subject we do a quiz on, this might help you. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this video is going to be at all entertaining. Uh, it will be when I get angry because I don't know the flipping answer because realistically I'm an idiot. Uh, but <laughs> let's see what happens, okay? When methane is burned in oxygen, carbon dioxide and water are made. What is the reactant? Well, the reactant's oxygen. We all know that. Copper oxide and carbon dioxide are made when copper carbonate is heated strongly, which is a product. Uh, what? Heat? Why would that be a product? <laughs> no, I don't want to be taking a rip out of these questions because I feel like if I do, people are just going to be like, wow, you're calling key, key stage three questions like easy. Wow, Cameron, you're so smart for knowing the answer. Like, I don't feel like people are going to appreciate me taking the rip out of them. Copper oxide is made in carbon dioxide, so it's got to be copper oxide. Okay, what name is given to the force that holds atoms together in a compound? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. A chemical bond. It's got to be. I'm already kind of shit at it. What? I don't know. I know it's not gravity. Which name is given to the force that holds atoms together in a compound? It's got to be a chemical bond. But the electrostatic attraction one? Surely that one's correct as well. I, I don't know. What is another name for combustion? Oh, for God's sake. Burning. It's got to be burning. Oh, no. You guys are going to find out that I'm a fraudster. <laughs> oh, no. Combustion reactions always release energy. What word can be... Okay, that's exothermic. I know that one. Easy peasy, lemon just squeezy. Which of these is found in the fire triangle and therefore is essential for combustion? What the hell's the fire tri triangle? Fire triangle. I, I, I've never learned about flipping fire triangle. Or a goddamn water square. <laughs> that was such a crap joke. Oh my god. Um, what's essential for combustion? Well, it's oxygen. But then, what about incomplete combustion? Oh, no, you still need oxygen. Okay, that's fine. Because water and carbon dioxide are just products. Yeah. What is a hydrocarbon? A compound that contains carbon and hydrogen. A carbon made from carbon and hydrogen only. A compound that could... I think it's the second one. Yeah. What is, the, what is produced when a hydrocarbon fuel burns in a very good supply? That's carbon dioxide and water. I know that one. Uh, complete combustion. Oh, God. Thermal decomposition is there. Shit. No, thermal decomposition needs heat. I know this, guys. I know everyone... I know all my haters are watching this video going, Oh, look how dumb Cameron is. Nah, man. I know I know the answer to that one. Shut up. What name is given... Okay, I know that one's Catalyst. Right, 10 out of 10. Come on. Oh, guys. Wow. I'm so smart. I'm such, <laughs> why am I taking pride in this? Oh, my God. I'm so tired. I should not be doing a quiz like this. Because if I mess up one goddamn answer, like, people are going to think I'm an idiot. So me being tired, I don't know, my intelligence, my brain uh, processes might not work efficiently. Well, chemistry I was bound to do well in. You know, I'm doing a degree in chemistry. I mean, it'd be a little bit worrying if I didn't do well in it. My, I, I don't think I ever enjoyed drama at all. It was so crap. I was so nervous when I was a kid. I got so shy. It was horrible. Right. Costume design. Come on, test. There we go, guys. We're doing a test on costume design. Guys, I guarantee that I can get full marks on this easy peasy lemon disc squeezy. 
Why might a costume designer use a specific colour within a costume? To show the audience the time period of the play. Well, I'm just going to say, going off a whim, I don't think wearing all black is going to depict a certain time frame. I mean, actually, it could because of gothic. For God's sake! Because gothic dramas, they always wear black, don't they? Oh, for God's sake. To convey a symbolic idea. Well, like, it's got to be that one. It, it can't be that. It can't be age of character. Like, what? You turn 15, you only wear red. How does that work? Time period of play. It can't be that one. But it, I feel like it could be, though. Because, uh, like, during gothic times, obviously, gothic was a time period. And they always wore black and red and stuff. Why is simple makeup often used uh, in a performance? To help pick out a performance facial, facial features. To change an actor's physical appearance. Well, you wouldn't use simple makeup to do that. To identify the main characters on stage. I don't know. I thought it was just to improve like the image quality. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I thought that's why you wore makeup. I don't think I've ever put makeup on for a goddamn, like, drama piece. I didn't do a GCSE in there. Well, it's got to be that one. It, it can't be them two. Because this one would involve lots of makeup. And this one doesn't even make sense. It's got to be that one. Why might elements of a costume be accentuated? 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 Does that mean over-exaggerated? Make more noticeable or prominent. How the hell did I know that? You guys calling me an idiot. I didn't even know what that word meant. I just guessed and I got it right. Suck on that. Okay, losers. Uh, to show that the characters are high status, to add humour to the performance. What, to over- you're over, you're over exaggerating the costume. Maybe that'll make it funny. To make it easier for the audience to see them. Oh, this is hard. They're all very plausible. To show that the characters are high status. Like, for example, if you had someone who's rich in a play. I don't know if this video is actually entertaining at all, because I think it's quite boring, to be honest. I'm going to have to send it to Fact on Studios before I release it. Fact on Studios is quality control, by the way, so if my videos are bad on my channel, blame John, okay? I'm also going to try and get John to make all my thumbnails, because I am inept, okay? <laughs> and I have too much money, so I'm going to pay John. I'm going to pay John to do it. Okay, no, I don't have too much money. I have no money. <laughs> Donate to me right now. So why would they over-exaggerate a costume? I'm trying to visualise an example of when of when this happens. Uh, sorry for shouting, by the way. I've got a new microphone. I don't, I don't know if I'm speaking too loudly. I think I am. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm very loud. Leave me alone. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to visualise an example. So if you had, like, a, a queen. Let's say you had a queen. Um, my girlfriend, let's say. She would wear maybe like a bigger crown to make it more apparent that she's like of royalty, I guess. To add humour. It's got to be humour though. Like, humour maybe? I don't know. To make it easier for the audience to see them. That seems too basic. That one kind of makes sense. I've got to search what this word actually means. Because I think it means more than just over... I don't think it means over-exaggerate actually. Make more noticeable or prominent. I'm going to say humour. Oh my god, if I don't get half, like, you guys are gonna think I'm a goddamn moron! No, guys, please leave me alone. I'm a really smart person, okay? I'm very smart. I'm incredibly smart, guys, if you guys did not know. I'm smarter than a Jada Jade. To be honest, I mean, she's got a famous YouTube channel, so maybe, maybe that's not true. Why might a costume have a Velcro seam rather than buttons? Who the fuck cares? What do you mean a Velcro seam? What? They don't normally have buttons? I I swear I've seen a play where they had buttons. Or was that an optical illusion? I don't know. To help with quick costume changes, it's got to be that. To show the period and location of the play. What? Using Velcro instead of buttons? It's cheaper. Nah, nah, nah. It's got to be that one. Top one. And also, with the zips and buttons, Little Britain, uh, the, the fit girl, what's her name? Uh, the chav. Oh, it's got... I don't... What's her name? It can't be Victoria. Vicky. Yeah, Vicky. Yeah, Vicky Pollard. Um, they have a zip. So that's not even true. What does the condition of a costume refer to? How expensive the fabric is used? How much it's used in? Yeah. The state of the costume. Surely it's just that. 
because like condition on eBay, if you have a phone and you take a shit in the toilet and then the phone falls into the shit and then you flush the toilet, but then you fish out the phone from the plumbing system, that is like new quality. But if you were to, you know, keep the phone in good condition, it would be in perfect quality. So I get that. that's where it comes from. What is the fit? How, uh, oh God, couldn't this mean multiple things? Am I going crazy here? Does the costume fit? And does it fit the character you're trying to play? It could mean both, couldn't it? How good the costume looks. How the clothing fits a performer. It's got to be that one. It's got to be. What kind of costumes do pantomimes feature? Grand and colourful. Yeah, I know that one. What are the main attributes of a character that a costume can portray? I feel like the answers to this quiz are, are going to be all three of them for like all of the questions because I'm pretty sure you could argue all three. Uh, the, the costume can portray level of intelligence. Dumb people typically wear, uh, I don't know, thick clothes when it's really hot, but then when it's really cold, they wear t-shirts. Age, gender, and social background. Uh, women uh, typically wear uh, bras. Men don't. Age. Old people typically are not as revealing as young people. Social background. Uh, people who commit crime normally have a gun on them or a knife. Hobbies and interests. My interest is being autistic. So I carry a camera, like an actual camera, to make sure that if I see any trains, I can take a picture of them. I don't know, okay? Hobbies. Fam, I don't know. I'm going to just say that. That one. That one makes sense. What does costume refer to? Just the clothes. Right, let's see what I've got. 8 out of 10, man. You guys calling me dumb all the time. I'm so smart, okay? No one could do better than me in that. No way. No way anyone could do better than that in a in a exam. Like, come on, guys. 80% is an A star. So, realistically, I'm a genius. So let's just face it. Let's just get that out of the way. So, before anyone calls me dumb... A, I got 8 out of 10 on costume design. Wait, them questions were about costume design. Apparently, costumes are assinuated. Who the hell knows what that means? I know I'm going to get some comments saying, Oh, wow, Cameron, you don't know what assinuated means. You're a loser and you're very dumb. I know some people are going to be like that, but shut up, you're lying. There's no way you know what that word means. You're clearly just trying to take the moral eye ground here. No one knows that word, okay? Shut up. And the other question was this. A costume does not just refer to clothes. It refers to every item the performer wears, including hair and makeup. <laughs> Give me some recommendations on quizzes I should do. Should I do a past paper next time? Well, you know what? Maybe. Please no one say to me, Oh, Cameron, you should do the A-level chemistry model paper. I don't want to, okay? <laughs> I'm too dumb. I'm not doing that, okay? <laughs> nah, nah I, I might, I might, depends on this video just. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video uh, Have a good day, and I'll be seeing you guys later Goodbye